Have you ever considered how powerful it might be to break the silence, to share your story of trauma and healing? Consider the story of a woman we'll call Rose. Rose spent years feeling alone, locked in her own world of pain after a traumatic event. It wasn't until she found herself in a supportive group of individuals who had experienced similar traumas that she felt safe enough to share her story. As she spoke, she felt a weight lift off her shoulders. The act of sharing, she found, was a turning point in her journey toward healing. Then there's the story of Elijah. He was a man who believed his trauma was something to be endured in silence. That was until he found solace in writing. He began to pen his experiences, sharing them anonymously online. The responses he received, messages of support, empathy and shared experiences, showed him he wasn't alone. This act of sharing, even anonymously, became a significant step in his healing process. One more story to consider is that of Maya. Maya found her healing through art, painting her emotions, her pain, her healing onto canvas. She then started to share her artwork, each piece a testament to her journey. The connections she made, the conversations that ensued, became an integral part of her healing. Sharing, it seems, holds immense power in the journey of trauma healing. Whether it's spoken to a sympathetic ear, written for an anonymous reader, or expressed through art for an appreciative viewer, sharing can help us feel less alone. It allows us to confront and verbalize our experiences, to externalize the internal turmoil, and to find validation and support in the responses we receive. But remember, sharing is a personal decision. It's okay to take your time, to wait until you're ready. And when you do decide to share, it's important to find a safe and supportive environment, a space where your story and your privacy are respected. And don't forget about self-care. Nurturing yourself before and after sharing is vital. It's about creating a balance, acknowledging the pain, but also recognizing the strength within you. So, the next time you find yourself contemplating whether to share your story or not, remember Rose, remember Elijah, remember Maya. Remember the power of sharing in their healing journeys. It's not about exposing your wounds to the world. It's about turning your pain into power, creating a ripple effect of healing. And most importantly, it's about realizing that you are not alone. Sharing might just be another step forward on your path towards healing. A path that is uniquely yours, but on which you are never completely alone.